Hello again. Um, here I have a uh, combination lock. It's a um, bolt type combination lock and you can see the moment this lock is set on all zeros. Um, now the way to set this is in the unlock position you have to insert something into this pin, push it in, and then you change the combination to whichever one, uh, whichever number suits you best. Now, uh, just for this demonstration, I'm going to keep this one on on, um, on all zeros. As you can see, it works. Looks okay. So the idea is you. Um, you know, your bolt goes across your, your door or your cupboard or whatever you've got it locked on, your shed or whatever. And you, know, you, you turn this and jumble the numbers and you're not going to get that thing open. Now, you know, we could try to decode this. I've tried a few various methods and I've got to confess that this isn't the my best um Technique isn't with combination locks, but um, I've been seeing other videos before where people have managed to bypass these. I figured I would do the same thing. So, you know, so let's go put it back to not. And there we go. Open, close, locked. So we scramble the numbers. And the idea is, is that I'm going to find a space here between, well, I assume the numbers go this way down. So the second disc, second wheel, I'm going to go in, round near the back. And the idea is I'm trying to find a particular um, Part of the mechanism that I can get hold of. And there you go. It's open. That's simple. Back to not. Lock, unlock, lock, lock, unlock, lock. Jumble it up. It's not going to open. So we take, this is very slim, I can't remember what size this is, but a very slim multi pick standard hook. Um, I insert it into the grip gap on the second on the second disc, second wheel. I'm feeling for the mechanism that just enough and bend it back, put a bit of tension and we'll open. There you go, locked open. So I'm just going to show you how I did that. Now if we turn the lock round, see if I can use this. Here is the mechanism that will move to clear the discs and the bolt. So the bolt opens. Closes. Now, we just close the bolt off. One, I'm going to turn one of the wheels. One turn. Watch. Just watch this mechanism here. Okay. As I turn, it's moved. See that? It's back to not. All knots. Turn it over. And we move it one position. So the, all those three parts of that arm, it moves away and it's locked. It's now moved and it's locked the bolt. I don't know if we can, I can get in here enough to show you. 
Bring it at an angle. This part of the bolt that you can see here is going to be caught in. You get it as they are from the inside, and it's this piece of metal this strip here lifts up and catches behind this bolt and it stops the bolt from moves up and at this end actually if I can show you it's going to catch the larger part of the bolt here and it's going to stop this bolt from pushing this way and if you watch the mechanism when I take the lock back to naught moves out of the way and it allows the bolt to open just like that okay and this spans the gap of these two large parts of the bolt so it fits itself inside this space so the bolt can't move either way so how do we get this open by bypassing it so what we do is we Lock this, jumble all these up, just like that. Right, just give them a bit more. It's really mixed up now. Oops, sorry. Jumble it up with it locked. There we go. Going truly locked. So now I'm going to insert the pick inside this second slot almost at a right angle now if we go to the back now can I get this so we can see see if I can find space good angle we insert the pick in And if I can find a good angle for the pick, bear with me. Right there. Goes in the slot, down. It's difficult trying to do it actually from the back so you can see it. If it goes in, and if you watch, I'm now surprised the mechanism, just enough clearance. So the bolt here clears the lock and we've got an open. Turn it round, retract that and you can see the numbers are 9862. It's kind of locked in the open position. So that one more time, mix up, insert the key into this second wheel and what we're doing is we're finding the mechanism here in the back, get enough grip on it so that we can just lift it enough to clear and it's not much to clear this sliding bolt and and I slipped off. Goes in. Try again. And you can see the mechanism move out of the way then. And it's just enough for the bolt to retract. Now comes the pick. And there is um, a simple method and how to bypass this kind of um, lock. Now, it doesn't work with all of them, but there's quite a few of this kind of lock that this does work with. And I have a few of the combination locks, so maybe it's another day to I'll, um, maybe do a demonstration on how to bypass a different combination lock. So, 
There you go. Sorry, I do not remember the name of this lock. It was used on a cupboard um, for a while, a short while inside. Then I, re I was realised that it sh this cupboard shouldn't have been locked. So um, I took it off and it's never been used since. So it's probably used for about six months. Still like new, minus a few scratches. Um, works really well. And for the most part, when you try to um, put tension on it either way, you find that there's no binding, no binding pins, no binding discs. So it's very difficult. I found this one very difficult to, to try to pick um, by finding a gate. Um, but the method I used using this very slim pick, multi pick. In the groove and it opened it really well so again thank you so much for watching listening to me waffle on a bit um hope you uh, enjoyed that video and if you've got a combination lock and you find the problem that the discs are, the wheel is not binding then maybe give this method a go it's usually around about the second uh, wheel that's the one that gives us the most option to stick the pick in. All these others are quite closed off. So there we go, that goes in. And whichever wheel you find and get in should be the one that allows you to find the mechanism to pop it open. Again, thank you for watching. Take care. Have a good day. Bye bye now.